Hi Pisces, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this is a bonus reading. It's intended to maybe give you some messages. Maybe if you didn't resonate with some of your monthly readings, maybe something here at will. That is my intention with this reading. So we will look into love, a little bit into love, a little bit into life, what's going on in life. And then advice and guidance for you from the Guardian Angel deck here. And I have a new camera, so sorry. So not too many people use that deck. It's a cute little Guardian Angel deck. So we'll get some advice, guidance for you um, for this bonus reading. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. Take only the messages that resonate for you. May not be for you, or every message may not be for you. So please do keep that in mind. Could be past, present, or future energies also. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what's going on for Pisces for this May bonus reading. And I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, uh, links are below for your playlist, Love in General. This is a, a general collective reading, not a private reading, but if you would like a private reading, that info is below also, along with tons of other information, so please feel free to check that out. And if you're new, check out my channel, like what you see, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about four to five readings a month, and they're all different. It's not just love readings. I do... Um, general, I do singles, I do love, I do spirit guide messages, and then I do these bonus readings. So the bonus readings may change though to the most viewed uh, signs from the previous month as I do have a little limited amount of um, time and energy since I still do work a full-time job. I am an essential worker so I still work full-time. So we'll see how that goes for April when we stop doing, not April, oh my gosh, I'm going backwards for June. <laughs> So the month of April may be significant for you in some way, shape, or form. All right, so maybe something happened last month. I don't know. So let's see what's going on in love for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, Jupiter also for the general collective for Pisces. What's going on in the love of Pisces? So I'm going to get one, um, well, two from each deck. I'll get one. The bottom, I always take the bottom card. That's a important message. So we'll get two from each deck, then I'll go over it with the tarot. We'll clarify all the energy here with the tarot. So I'm not going to be going over any signs or anything like that. It's just short little messages. Either you resonate or you don't. And uh, hopefully something here will resonate for you. So what's going on in life? Life of Pisces. Almost sounds like the life of Pi. The life of Pisces. What's going on? This is sort of like your general portion. But, I mean, it could be about love, work, career, finance, or anything. So, let's see. Life of Pisces. What's the most important messages? I feel that one. Stuck right in my hand. Take the bottom. Decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. All right. So, let's get here your advice, guidance from the Guardian Angels for this bonus reading for Pisces, Journal Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. So I do have a new camera. I have a real camera now. I was using my phone before. So this camera does have a microphone. I was getting a lot of complaints that my videos weren't loud enough. So hopefully now uh, video quality is a lot better. Although my camera was fantastic. Had fantastic uh, video capabilities. It was, um, I still have it. It's a Google Pixel 3. It takes great, great videos and pictures. But this camera has a uh, microphone so hopefully it's a lot better all right and i had a limited limited amount of storage on my um phone i only could do like three or four videos and i'd run out of room and i'd have to you know wait for it to upload to my OneDrive, then to my computer and i had a lot of waiting so this i could just keep on recording and it has uh, a lot of memory in it so all right enough about that pisces Pisces, Pisces, what's the advice or guidance for Pisces? That one in the bottom of the deck. So let's see what we have for you, Pisces, in love. So I'm trying to get used of the camera here because I was used to using my phone. So bear with me here. <laughs> so we have, sorry about the glare, okay. Action, you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. So taking action either to love, away from love, in love, I don't know, we'll see here, in forgiveness, 
You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So forgive, taking action to forgive something here in a love situation. All right, so let's see what the life portion has. We have balance here. Take everyone's input in consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. So that is temperance energy. So it's about healing, patience, balance, um, kind of energy. And then we have the Six of Spring. So we have wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. So Six of Wands, very fiery, passionate uh, success, victory, accomplishment, attention. So there's something, something you could be bringing balance into, whether it's relationships, career work, finance. could be your finances now getting balanced. Uh, but we do have success and victory here in some way, shape, or form. So it could be, you know, a new endeavor, project, idea, relationship, friendships here. Or just your life in general is now balancing out and you're moving forward uh, victoriously. Wow, okay. A lot of good energy so far, Pisces. Let's see what your advice and guidance is. So we have support here. This is Archangel Michael. So he is all about uh, truth, clarity, communication, protection, uh, that kind of energy. And we have another one by uh, Archangel Michael. We have self-belief. So you may be um, getting support from others around you in some way, shape, or form, or just reaching out for help, whether it's, uh, or this is your advice, you know, to reach out for help, support if you need it. Maybe you're, you're having a little bit of self-doubt, worry, fear about things in your life right now. But this is believing in yourself and being strong, courageous, and brave. If you need to reach out for support to get guidance, to get, you know, whatever here, uh, don't be afraid to do that either. So a lot of energy of Archangel Michael. So if you want to look up that angel, if you feel there's an angel you need to work with. But again, he's all about protection, protecting you, your loved ones, your energy. He's about truth, clarity, uh, justice. So may want to look into that if that makes sense for you so let's see let's clarify this energy for you pisces so what are we taking action in love and forgiving so being in that energy of having the power to forgive a situation so let's see what that is about and releasing past hurts so you know, you could have just come out of a relationship or long-term commitment marriage where now we're taking action to heal, to mend, to have peace, harmony, as with that balance, just forgiving and letting uh, past hearts go. All right, so let's see. What is this about for you, Pisces? If not, uh, if something happened, you know, it could be something minor. Now we're taking action. We're just healing, mending, forgiving um, kind of energy, having peace and harmony. So we have here Nine of Swords, very stressed out, nervous. The Eight of Wands. Oh, yeah, Eight of Wands. So that's fiery, passionate communication. And the Tower. So there's that disruption of some sort. Argument, fight, breakdown, shakeup, surprise, epiphany, a big uh, shift or change. So there's either some sort of communication uh, that came in. That could be that action. Because the Eight of Wands is about travel, action, communication. So, I mean, this could be you stressed out stressed out about communicating something to someone because you're afraid of a fight, an argument, or something like that. All right. Or you're worried about news coming in that may be explosive or may cause a big shift or change. Or you have a feeling it may not be good news. But let's see. Let's see. Let's get a few more here see what's going on. So this definitely could have to do with a marriage or a commitment of some kind. The Four of Wands energy. Knight of Pentacles. So now we're moving forward. More stable, grounded, secure kind of energy. All right, what else? What else? And the Two of Wands. So being at a crossroads. So... 
you may be at a crossroads. Uh, can you forgive maybe something that happened between you and your love? Can you forgive whatever this was? Disruption, change, fight, argument, separation, whatever it was for you. Um, can, that, can you forgive that? It take action to move forward in a more stable, grounded energy, working on it, being practical, wise, moving forward. So you may be at a crossroads here, not what, not knowing what to do, being a little stressed out. Do we take action, slow, steady, practical action, and move this forward to a better place? Or do you forgive, but take action and move on? So let's see what this crossroads, uh, get a little more clarity. What are we going to do at this crossroads? What is uh, Pisces going to do at this crossroads? What are they at crossroads at? So we do have a fool here, the fool here, which is about uh, a brand new beginning of some kind, starting over, starting fresh. So some of you may be, you know, starting over fresh on your own, resetting your energy back to zero. Uh, maybe, you know, forgiving, like I said, this whole situation, you know, trying to get peace and harmony but yet moving on, you know, this could be energy of you just moving on away from the situation. Or some of you may actually work this out, forgive, and set the energy back to zero, zero and uh, heal and mend the situation. And let go of whatever this hurt, pain, explosive energy was. All right, so we get one more. So are we going alone or are we going with this person? What is Pisces doing here? Nope. That's two. So we have the Queen of Wands, so very fiery, passionate uh, action, taking, you know, fiery, passionate action, feeling passionate, a go-getter, ambitious. So are we going ambitious? Are we going alone, solo, or are we kind of like renewing the situation? Five of Cups, energy. So it's about sadness, hurt, loss. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. I don't usually take this many, but I feel like we need more clarity here. So let's see, let's see what's going on. Pisces. What else for Pisces? <sighs> Six of Swords. So this is moving to a better place. Uh, peace, harmony, balance. So we've got the Four of Cups in reverse. So, you know, that is about being, you know, melancholy, bored, unsure about love, love in general. But this, I feel, in Four of Cups Reverse is about making a conscious choice and accepting or putting out an offer and then moving together. And we do see a family here. So I feel like some of you definitely will be moving forward, uh, like kind of renewing this, healing it, forgiving it, and moving forward again with your person. Or some of you will be going off on your own. Hang man, so that's your energy. So, yeah, reflecting. What do I do here? What do I do? Really thinking about it and making a choice. Choice, trying to balance out your energy, making a choice. What do I do? So whatever you're doing here, it's divine timing, it's fate, destiny, things getting better. So if you're going alone or going with your person, uh, things will get better once you make the choice and uh, balance out your energies. Things will go in a better direction. Yeah, so some of you may put a wall up against this person and uh, not take them back. Some will fight for it. So I'm getting that message. So some of you will uh, fight for this and mend it, heal it. Some of you are just going to move on. So however the message resonates for you, if you're stuck in limbo, as with the hanged man, you need to make a decision in order for your life to get better in general, things to get better for you whether it's alone or with this person. All right. So what's this balance in the Six of Wands for, for Pisces? So we have the sun, total happiness, joy, success, victory, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing. Nine of Cups. So nines are a single energy. So yeah, I felt that. Some of you are going single, solo. Nine of um, Cups energy. So I think your life is pretty good right now. You're feeling balanced. You're feeling, you know, victorious in some way, shape, or form, whether you're still working or not. You know, your home life is good. You know, you could be single. Um, and, you know, the Knight of Cups can speak of overindulging, so just be careful if you are home a lot and find yourself overindulging. It doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be anything. High Priestess. So some of you just keep it to yourself. 
just kind of keeping quiet and calm. You know, listen to you, got your intuition. Just kind of keeping to yourself, not really uh, doing much, I feel. <laughs> you're just happy and content with whatever you're doing. We do have the King of Wands energy here. So that's that fiery, passionate, go-getter energy, uh, feeling the zest for life. Knight of Cups, so being in that peaceful, harmonious energy, just living your life like kind of like in La La, not in La La Land, but sort of like just in your own little world, I feel. <laughs> just in your own little world and feeling, you know, happy and content there, I feel. So do we have the devil energy here? So just be careful that you don't um, get in an energy of where, you know, you're just, okay, fine by myself and... You know, you stop talking to friends, family, you know, whatever, and you just live in your own bubble because that can turn toxic um, kind of energy. I feel like you're kind of like living in your, some of you in your own bubble. You're happy in your own world. But, you know, by not talking to anyone, friends, family or whatever, or getting out into the world best you can, um, I think, you know, that can turn toxic. You turn into a hermit. You can turn into a hoarder. I mean, <laughs> lots of things. You can start to get addictions, obsessions. Kind of energy so i'm feeling watch that energy stay balanced um you know it's okay to be in your own world feel happy and content but don't forget other energies of the world around you uh friends family co-workers um you know doing things you enjoy getting out there when we can so just be mindful of that also i also feel like some of you that had toxic ties in the past you've um you're not associating with that energy anymore because the high priestess kind of keeps to herself again. So I feel like you maybe you've cut ties, you know, with toxic people. And, you know, that's why you're kind of living in your own world right now and you're feeling so much better. But again, be careful of that. All right, so what is this support against support? So, you know, you can still rely on friends and family or whoever here. All right, so what is this about for... So here's the truth, clarity... This is my divine um, intervention card, divine clarity card. Some successful, brand new beginning, enlightenment, epiphany, aha moment. So the divine is telling you here, you know, to have truth and clarity, open, honest conversations where you need them, cut away energies no longer serving you, having that self-belief, standing up for yourself, not backing down. And I feel that's Michael coming through because he does represents the sword kind of energy. So we have the hermit. So now, now we're going within, oh, sorry about the glare, going within deep introspection, healing um, kind of energy. So again, I felt that <laughs> some of you kind of going into hermit mode. All right. Finding your way, your path, your light. Here's more of Archangel Michael coming through with the King of Swords. A lot of sword energy here. So a lot of mental activity going on. And now we're having the Emperor come in here. Emperor or Empress, so, you know, being in control of your life, of what you're doing, feel or feeling like you are in control. But again, that King of Swords is like that same energy. Clear, open, honest communication. And I felt that cutting away energy is no longer serving you. Taking control of your life, your situations. Thinking long, hard about it. That only investing your energy into energies that are invested in you, that support you, your journey, uh, that believe in you. That's your advice also. What else here for Pisces? And I hear sirens, so that's a cue for me. Yeah, balance here. So only two energies that are balanced. Balanced energies only. Equal give and take between you and others. What else here for Pisces? And the Queen of Swords. Wow. So now we have Archangel Michael. We have the Divine coming in. We have Source. Double clarity here. Um, again, some of you, we got a match here. So some of you definitely here will be still moving forward with a soulmate. Some of you may be going solo. I feel like in the future you could meet your match, your soulmate here, uh, cause we have two of the same suit. But I feel like, again, this is you holding up your sword and cutting those energies no longer serving you with truth and clarity and then putting your sword down and like, that is my final judgment. So however that resonates for you, or there is a need to do that because we have the king, the queen, and the ace. Those are all my divine intervention, my divine clarity uh, cards. So they're all three are coming out. So that's major, major energy here. Wow. Okay, Pisces. 
Hope that resonated for you. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.